Well, good morning, and welcome back to the kitchen. I'm going to do something today a little bit different. I'm not going to cook, but I've had several inquiries from y'all in comments and in private emails and messages asking about my vacuum, my VacMaster vacuum chamber. Now, when I first started trying to vacuum pack stuff and keep it, I had a food saver, and it was good, and it had the hose that would attach with the the fixture that would go over the jar lid and would vacuum the lid zone and they would stay on but they wouldn't stay on a long time the vacuum would eventually release and I even had a second uh, food saver and I had a good it was a good one and um, after I got my freeze dryer I got to watching different people and things that they did on with vacuuming and, and putting their stuff up and a lot of people were using the VacMaster 215. <clears throat> Hunters use it because you can vacuum seal your meat and it lasts just practically indefinitely in the, refri in the freezer. Now I like to put, uh, today what I'm going to do is anything I buy in bulk that I know would go bad after a little while I like to go ahead and put it in glass jars and uh, I went to Costco and I got a big old bag of the French fried onions I like to put it in that famous green bean casserole and they will they will get old tasted and soft so I'm going to fill these tight jars with uh, my onion uh, rings or onion whatever they are they're like the Durkee's onions but they're not Durkee's of course and then I'm going to take them over to the vacuum chamber and I'm going to vacuum pack them. And that way they will stay fresh until I need them. I won't have to worry about them getting old and doing it. Got just a few more. Let's see here. I kind of made a little mess. I'm good at that. But, you know, I know how to clean them up. I've told y'all before, I make them and clean them. They're sure not anybody else going to come along and clean up my mess for me. Okay. Now, all I have to do, I'm just going to put my lids on here, just not real tight, just barely. The, the reason for the ring is simply to hold that lid in place. Now I can't keep these forever because obviously they were fried in oil and oil will go rancid. But this will keep them a lot better than a Ziploc bag until I get ready to use them. So I'm going to bring y'all over to the vacuum chamber and let you watch me uh, vacuum seal these. And then you'll see how I save stuff like this for a longer period of time and keep it fresh. If you've never seen one of those vacuum chambers work, let me tell you, I can take a a food saver bag for one of a better description and I can put water in it and I can lay it in there on an incline and put the top across the bar where it seals and it will seal that bag of water without liquid going anywhere when you're putting meat up you know how sometimes it'll pull the juices out it doesn't happen with this one and my husband tried to explain it to me because there's equal pressure in the bag outside the bag and then when it seals and the pressure's released, it sucks it down and vacuums the inside. I don't understand all of it, and you might can look on YouTube or something and somebody can explain it really well. But let me tell you, a VacMaster 215 is an awesome machine. Let's go over there and seal these onion pieces up. Now, I can do more than one at a time because I have room in here for them. So I'm going to do these four. And then I've got one more to do. Now, if I were going to keep this for a long time, I would put an oxygen absorber in there. But I will use them simply because of the oil content that's in them. I'm afraid they'll go rancid. But this will keep them fresh. Just letting it go through its process and they'll be sealed very I'm going to open one of them and let you hear the seal because I've got one more jar to do and I'll let you see how tight the seal is 
and I'll reseal that one. Okay, there they are, all sealed. Now let me get my opener. So you can hold it by the lid and you can tell that it's sealed, but listen. Did you hear that? It puts a seal on it. Okay, I'm going to seal this one again. While I'm sealing the last one. And then I'll have them all sealed tight where they'll last. And there you have it. I've got all of my jars sealed now. Vacuum sealed, ready to just to keep them until I get ready to use them. I want to uh, show you all the front of the machine here. I'm going to go ahead and unplug it and close it up. See, I have some trays that fit in here, and this bar right here, you can see part of it, is what uh, this. This is what you lay your plastic up over if you're doing the bags to seal it. And when it seals, your liquid does not get does not fill the area in there. It seals in the bag. It's just amazing. Here's the front of it. And I don't have it on, so the, it's not going to be lit up. But the countdown is in this window right here when, I, when I'm setting it and making it work. And it's a, it's a fairly large thing. It's sitting across the end of my bar. And I just leave it there because if I want to open something and use it uh, that I have need to vacuum seal back, I can just run over here and do it. Or if I have leftovers that I want to vacuum pack them in the bags and put them in the freezer, it's very convenient. Now, if you want a kitchen that's just pretty, pretty, this wouldn't be the one you like so well because this is a working kitchen and I've got my vac master here, my June ovens over there, I've got mixers, I've got a water filter, <laughs> I have an espresso machine here, I have a tea maker here, the Breville tea maker, and I have a hot water kettle, and I have everything where I can use it. So. This is a working I'm not kitchen. saying that I don't like things pretty pretty because I do but and I have a lot more um, small appliances and things that I use that I swap in and out of the space that I have but the things that I use the most are kept in here and they're handy for me to to, to use that's what they're for my kitchen is to cook in so I hope y'all enjoyed this video and if you like to see kitchen gadgets like this or appliances or whatever you want to call it let me know that you like things like that because let me tell y'all I have a whole bunch that I can share and show you and tell you why I like them and what's my favorite and why it's my favorite so uh, I hope y'all have enjoyed it I hope you come back for the next one and we'll have something else fun and I hope it's new to you the good Lord bless y'all